So people always ask me why I stand up paddleboard. There are an enormous amount of reasons why I paddleboard, but really simply, the sport gives me this incredible connection to the environment and to people. It's an amazingly social sport. So when you're all stood on your boards gliding, you can be decompressing about your day. You can talk about what the kids have done or how it's been at work or what your plans are for the future. There's not very many sports that you can do where you can just have a general chat. And I think that it's just such a great experience for your mental health. When you're out there with that completely alternative perspective that most people don't normally get to enjoy, looking, at the, looking from the sea back at the land, there's something really incredible about that. It's an amazingly mindful sport. You know, when you're paddling, all you can do is think about one paddle followed by the next paddle. And um, it really centers your mind and just allows you to become present and just be in the moment with the people, with the environment and with yourself. And it's great fitness. I mean, it's all the fitness that I do. I'm not much of a runner or not much of an anything else, but paddleboarding, man, it burns the calories, so uh, great for fitness, great for your mental health. It's just a brilliant all-round activity that connects you to it all. Your safety is equal to your fun while you're stand-up paddleboarding. My top tip, wear your leash. Wear your leash. It's the number one bit of safety kit that we recommend. It basically connects you to your life raft. There should be no reason at all why you don't wear your leash. It just goes around your ankle. It doesn't matter which one. Just put it around the one that you feel most comfortable with. I also recommend that if you're paddling away from the coastline, you wear a buoyancy aid or some sort of personal flotation device. They're called a PFD. You can wear them that go around your waist and they auto inflate or manually inflate when you fall in. But really the golden rule is never paddle away from the coastline, then you can absolutely swim back in. The other bit of safety uh, advice I would give you, check the weather. Check the weather also at the point that you're leaving and also the point that you're ending up at. Because if you're paddling a long way, kind of like 10 miles up the coast, the weather could genuinely be different where you end up. I use an app called Windy. It tells you all about the wind direction. A lot of people will say, don't ever paddle in an offshore wind, but let me tell you that an onshore wind can be equally as dangerous for a couple of reasons. An offshore wind, yeah, you could get blown off to France and that's not useful if you haven't got your passport, but an onshore wind can blow you into the rocks or it could off balance you because the, the water tends to be much, much choppier when there's an onshore wind. And if you fall off balance and you fall into shallow water, that can also be pretty dangerous. So check the weather, make sure the weather and the wind conditions are right for your ability. If the wind is blowing over 15 miles an hour, it tends to get quite physical when you stand up paddleboarding. And if you get caught out standing up, just know that you can always kneel down. If you're stood up, you essentially act as a sail. If you kneel paddle, you halve that sail resistance. And if you're really in trouble, lying down in a prone position, paddling like how you've seen a surfer paddle, that's a real great get out of jail free card that you can use just in case of a real emergency. So wear your leash, wear buoyancy aid if you need one, and make sure you check the weather. Those are the top tips. I really hope you enjoyed these tips. For more videos like this, just hit the subscribe button.